Hello and welcome to another NovaStore training video. My name is Clay and today we will be looking at creating the Nova Backup Disaster Recovery Boot Disk. The Nova Backup Disaster Recovery Boot Disk creation process consists of two major steps. Downloading and installing the Windows Automated Installation Kit and burning the actual Disaster Recovery Boot Disk itself. The first step you should take before creating the Nova Backup Disaster Recovery Boot Disk is to download any device-specific drivers you may need to boot the machine you are attempting to backup or restore. A good example of this might be a specific RAID or SCSI driver required for your destination machine. The second step you will want to perform will be to download the Windows Automated Installation Kit from Microsoft and install it. This file is downloaded as an ISO file and requires you to either burn it to disk or mount it as a virtual drive to install. While those topics are outside the scope of this video, you can find a link below for basics provided by Microsoft. Once you have burned or mounted the CD, you will then need to install the automated installation kit itself. Again, you can find a third-party guide in the notes below. After preparing your drivers and installing the Windows AIK, we can finally create the Nova Backup Disaster Recovery Boot Disk. Open the Nova Backup software and choose Disaster Recovery Wizard. Then choose the option for Backup, Restore, Boot CD Creation, and finally Boot Disk on the left side. Click through the menus and Nova Backup should automatically identify the location of your installed Windows AIK. If it doesn't, you may need to search and find the software. You can see the default location listed here. The next screen is the image creation and is the last step before actually burning the software to disk. On this screen, you will see the option to show optional files list and include any of the third-party drivers you previously downloaded in preparation for the boot disk. Once you have selected all the additional drivers you need, click Create Image and wait for the process to finish. Once finished, click Next and you will be presented with a list of available drives to burn your disk to. If you have a USB drive, you can also burn the disk to the USB. This concludes the Nova Backup Disaster Recovery Boot Disk training video. If you have any questions, always feel free to check out support.novastore.com and submit a ticket to our support team.